home. Is this a holiday? What? Know you not, being mechanical, you ought not walk upon a laboring day without the sign of your profession? Speak, what trade art thou? Why, sir, a carpenter. Then where is thy leather apron and thy rule? What dost thou do with thy best apparel on? You, what trade? Truly, sir, in respect of a fine workman, I am but, as you would say, a cobbler. <laughs> Answer me directly. What trade? <laughs> Nay, sir, and of trade I hope I may use the safe conscience, which is indeed, sir, a mender of bad soul. <laughs> <laughs> what meanest thou by that? Thou knave, thou naughty knave, what trade? I beseech you, sir, be not out with me. Yet, if you be out, sir, I could mend you. <laughs> <laughs> what meanest thou by that? Mend me, thou saucy fellow. Why, sir, cobble you. Thou art cobbler, art thou? Truly, sir, all that I live by is with the all. I meddle with no tradesman's matters, nor woman's matters, but with all. <laughs> I am indeed, sir, a surgeon to old shoes. When they are in great danger, I recover them. As proper men as ever trod upon neat's leather have come across my handiwork. <laughs> yeah. Wherefore art not in thy shop today? Why dost thou lead these men about the streets? Truly, sir, to wear out their shoes to get myself into more work. <laughs> <laughs> but indeed, sir, we make holiday to see Caesar and to rejoice in her triumph. Wherefore rejoice? What conquest brings her home? What tributaries follow her to Rome to grace and captive bonds her chariot wheels? You blocks, you stones, you worse than senseless things. O oh, you hard hearts, you cruel men of Rome, knew you not Pompey? Many a times and oft have you climbed to walls and battlements, to towers and windows, yea, to chimney tops, and sat there the live long day in patient expectation to see great Pompey pass the streets of Rome. And when his chariot but appeared, have you not made a universal shout that Tiber trembles beneath her banks to hear the replications of your sounds made in her concave shores? And do you now put on your best attire? And do you now call out a holiday? And do you now strew flowers in her way that comes over Pompey's blood? Be gone, run to your houses, fall upon your knees. Pray to the gods to intermit the plague that must needs light on this ingratitude. Go, go, good countrymen. And for this fault, assemble all the poor men of your sort. Draw them to Tyre Banks, and weep your tears into the channel till the lowest stream to kiss the most exalted shores of all. See whether their basest metal be not moved. They vanish tongue-tied in their guiltiness. Go you down that way towards the capital. This way will I disrobe the images, if you do find them decked with ceremonies. May we do so? You know it's the Feast of Lupercal. It is no matter. Let no images be hung with Caesar's trophies. I'll about and drive the vulgar from the streets. So do you too, where you perceive them thick. These growing feathers plucked from Caesar's wing will make her fly in ordinary pitch. Who else would soar above the view of men and keep Saul in servile fearfulness? Citizens of Rome, if you are seated in rows through I through N, come hither up these stairs and the seats immediately. Citizens of Rome, if you are seated in A.